polyfills are very important if you want to support Internet Explorer or very old browsers. So here you can see I am using query selector all to get a list from this HTML here. You can see very basic code. This is all I need to do. Um, I'm not creating an app or a very complicated website. But here's the thing, I'm using the for each to get a loop and go over all that list and then do whatever I want. But Internet Explorer do not support for each if you're using a node list. Right now, query selector all is giving us a node list. Here is when you can use polyfills to actually solve this problem. So here I am at MDN. I searched for the node list dot for each. Um, they're going to show you how it works. But then if you keep scrolling all the way to the bottom, you will see polyfill. And this is a very simple code, as you can see. And you can just copy and paste this to your code, just like this, put it there. And now I can save this file and use it and make sure it works on Internet Explorer, old browsers and all that stuff. Now, there is another option that is very, very easy and is polyfill.io. So all you have to do is put this on your HTML and it will do it for you automatically. So you can include that and it will say, okay, you're using Internet Explorer or using whatever browser. We need to add this polyfill and it will add it for you. Or you can create your own bundle depending on what you need and you can add it there like that. So I think this is an awesome option that you can use. But hey, super simple, huh? That's it.